the day trips in an EV are not possible. <laughs> and we are loaded up with some bikes too. Yes, we got five bikes, three kids, the two of us. We did leave the dog at home, but we are headed out to Kearney, Nebraska. It's about a two hour drive um, from our house to go out. It's crane, Sandhill crane time. So you, probably you don't know. Why would you know? But yeah. <laughs> so like Kearney um, is the Sandhill crane capital of the world. It is something that everyone should experience once in their life because it's super cool. We'll link the video that we made back before we were even the all electric family. <laughs> on the sand hill cranes in Kearney. Yeah, we'll bring you along. I'll we'll show you how we uh, somehow finagled five bikes in the back of this thing and uh, let you know if it even works. We had to pull over once because my uh, strapping abilities isn't the best. Um, but yeah, it, and then we'll show you our consumption and all that good stuff. We will have to go to a DC fast charger, so hopefully that works. We didn't even check. <laughs> Have fun coming along with us. Yeah. We need to find, figure out a bike rack situation. <laughs> Sue's back there adjusting the straps because the bikes are a little bit loose. But hopefully once we get going, like we're just on the highway, we're not making turns and stuff anymore. It'll not be a big problem. But yeah, it'd probably be helpful to not have, <laughs> to have actual bike racks. But uh, it's tough with five bikes, so... We arrived at the Electrify America in Grand Island, Nebraska with about 40% left, but we needed to take a restroom break so we decided to charge here. There was a Mustang Mach-E and Volkswagen ID4 charging at the station as well. We got our charge up and going right away in our Rivian R1T. The Mach-E and ID4 both had to try a couple of times to get their chargers working, but we were happy to report that the Mach-E was able to charge on Station 4, which was down all summer, but it looks like they were able to get it fixed over the course of the winter. They also added the new Electrify America branded stickers to this station since the last time we visited. So how do you know it's winter time or been winter time in the all electric family hasn't been on any road trips when we forget to get stats for you when we just are fumbling around with everything. Yeah. And the chargers are fuller and so people want to yeah. talk and, but we did get a drone shot. So hopefully it actually worked. Yeah. Yeah. You'll we'll see if, if it didn't. works. Yeah. If there's no drone shot in this video. You'll know that we've forgotten how to do everything, but yeah, we, we love that the chargers are, are getting to be more full just to see more vehicles out there and all of that stuff. But it makes it difficult for us to shoot video while we're there because everybody's talking to each other and asking questions and helping each other out, which is great. And we love that about the EV community, but it makes for bad video. <laughs> so yeah. And we meant to just have that a quick stop. And so I think we got to remember that no stop is going to be a quick stop. No so. stop is going to be a quick stop. And we have a new, um, we are trying to now beat snow because, you know, oh, yeah. spring in the Midwest, nice, beautiful day, warm day. And then we start getting notifications on our phone that there's a winter weather advisory for tonight. So we got to beat the snow back home. We got up to 69%. We started at 40 at the last charger so yeah we'll go ahead and put all the stats up with that questions marks question marks because we don't know what they were <laughs> it was four dollars and some odd cents it was it was like it 45 kilowatt hours delivered yeah. i think we'll get back in the swing of it we will it's just all winter long we don't do this and we anymore. lost two kids we did we left them at the gas station no. <laughs> grandma and grandpa are with us again so they are they are with them so uh but yeah. Okay, let's get there. How many there are in that field? Wow. They're in full force right now, I think. But our nice some Chinese spring day to be been to. Oh, come on now. Whole big long U 
beautiful bike ride, but now we're going to get a quick bike ride to beat the crate and see what we can make happen. But there are, I think we were at the peak of crates because there are a lot of birds out here right now, which is super cool to see. Like it really is worth coming out here to witness it if you ever can make it out here during this time of year. So, but uh, let's, uh, let's do this thing with the bikes. Well, we made it. It's not raining yet, so we're going to get these bikes out as quick as we can and give them a go. So I'm going to help Steve get all the bikes down, and we're going to hit the trail. I hear cranes. You hear them? We are all set and ready to go. I really... The quality of these bikes, I just really like these bikes a lot. So, did we even explain what they are? They are no. a Benton yes. Pace 500. Mine is the medium large size since I'm about six foot and it yeah. feels real good. Uh, Katie's is the small, small medium. medium. Yep, because I'm 5'3. Five three. Three. Yep. Is your screen the same? I think so. Looks like it. These are for your levels for assist. You have speeds. This is the throttle. They've added um, turn signals on to the new pace. So Steve will get a video of it from behind me here. Um, but yeah, they've added on the turn signals on the new version. And then they have an app that you oh, can yeah. log into. Um, and it'll show you how far you've gone, your battery, all that stuff. So then you can like turn on your lights, uh, you can see which, um, how far you've gone, that sort of thing, your average speed, all that. It's pretty cool that you can uh, have that connected to it. You can have it track how far you're going. Just pretty cool what it can all do. It tells you your elevation, all that. All right, so we're ready to give these bikes a go. So I am on the new Pace 500.3. So they've added a torque sensor and turn signals and just giving it a few little upgrades, just take it to that next level. It is beautiful. I got to ride it just a little bit and you barely even know it's an electric bike. Like that's the cool thing about it. It yeah. just eases into it. So. Yep. Steve is on the 500.3. Two, the Pace 500.2 from Aventon. So, um, but yeah, let's get going. Yes, so we beat the weather, but uh, just barely, and um, yeah, I mean, had fun getting out there, though, still, and, and just making it happen. Sometimes that's what you got to do when you have the time to, to make something happen, just make it happen. So we will put a link to the, the bikes, the, both of Venton bikes, in our, the description below, because um, they are great. We really like the Venton bikes and the quality, and they just are well-built bikes so we like those them a lot so we're gonna go stop um in york because there is a charge point and there, there's a restaurant there which is a place we've never visited before which is rare along the i-80 corridor so we figure we'll go give it a shot since it's a charger that we've never been to before so 
we'll uh, maybe check in after we go there. As long as it's not raining or, or, or completely okay. dark, who knows? <laughs> True. All right, we'll check you back. One. I'll stay in here where it's warm while you plug in the car. You see when you start the charger through the Rivian app, it opens a charge port door. Oh. Fancy. <laughs> It's super fancy. Yeah, no. Am I gonna get his copyright? 28, 27, 28, <laughs> 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 70 70 70 70 70 70 70 70 70 70 70 70 70 we saw 74 for a second. Same. Well, as the pack voltage goes up, I bet it goes up. But let's go get some deep. Okay, let's do it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for more electric adventures. We'll see you in the next video.